Okay, we're back from IOD. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org and we're bringing you theCUBE live from IOD, IBM's big software event, big data event, uh, an event that really is uh, underscoring IBM's portfolio in big data, its commitment to big data, its management visions, its technology visions. Um, really quite impressive and uh, this is day two for us. Uh, we've been covering IOD here Monday and Tuesday. We're off to Strata tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to be covering that event like a blanket. The Cube, Silicon Angle's flagship product that goes to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. And uh, I'm here with my co-host. I'm Jeff Kelly and we'd like to welcome Jim Giles. He's a distinguished engineer for big data at IBM, overseeing uh, development of the Infosphere and the Streams platforms as well. Big insights and streams, yes. Great, uh, thanks for coming on the Cube. appreciate it. Yeah, we, um, we've heard a lot about uh, streams. We had a couple of your uh, partners on, customers, and people are very excited about it. Um, but first of all, let's start with um, just the whole topic of big data. Set off camera is one of your favorite topics. It's one of ours as, as well. You have it in your title. Yes. I, I, mm -hmm. I made that comment, um, which is relatively new to see people with big data in their titles, but most of them, and I wonder if this is true for you, have been doing something around data, big data, little data, you know, for quite some time. Is that the case with you? Yeah, that's right. So we've, we've been working on the Infosphere Streams product. That's where actually I started within IBM, working on building that in IBM Research and then bringing it uh, to market as a product uh, within Software Group. Uh, and so that is really about analyzing data in motion and, and it's one of our major uh, parts of our overall big data platform. And so then we got excited and interested in Big Insights and Hadoop and multiple different parts of the big data platform. So we we have been working on it for quite some time. Yeah, we had uh, Nagi uh, Halim on before. Mm -hmm. and He was saying that essentially he started this initiative 10 years ago. That's right. You know, what I love about IBM, you, <laughs> you do some real research and, yeah. and stuff actually hits the market. It's not just research for you know, research sake. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, so what's going on at IOD? Um, what are the, some, of the, some of the things that you're talking to customers about? What are you hearing back? Yeah, so I think one of the most important things uh, to really talk about is the overall big data platform. And so whenever some people talk about big data, they just think that means Hadoop, or they just think it means you know maybe whatever uh, warehouse that they happen to have. But really with IBM, we're taking all these different pieces together. We always talk about volume, variety, and velocity. And so we, we make sure that we have the right components to solve each of those different types of problems, whether it's analyzing data in motion, whether it's analyzing data at rest, and bringing all those different pieces together. And so that's really the strength of our, of our IBM uh, big data portfolio. So where are you finding, when you talk to customers, where are they on this journey? Um, you know, we, it's really early days, uh, I think, in this, in this market for so-called big data. So you know, where, where are you finding most customers at? Are they at the point where they are, uh, they conceptually understand what's going on and they're, and they're ready to implement solutions or are you do, still doing a lot of evangelizing? Where do you think uh, we are in terms of maturity? So different people are at different places and different are coming in at, uh, coming into different entry points. So we have some customers that maybe have a, a problem that they, a, a business process that they are working on right now that they just can't do anymore the way they've been doing it before. And so they, they're really looking for new technologies that they, they can bring to bear to that problem. Uh, and for them, they pretty much know what they want to do. They're, they're ready to explore the technology with us and, and implement, implement projects and get into production. There's other customers who have brand new problems that they've, it's a whole new problem space, a new thing that they want to do. And for them, sometimes they're still kicking the tires and trying to understand just what these things can do for them and what, what sorts of new capabilities they can uncover. So it's a real mix, um, uh, real mix of, of customers that we're seeing right now. Can we do a little, um Big insights drill down. Yeah, sure. Um, take us back through, because you, you, it's a pretty comprehensive platform. Yes. Um, take us back to the, the start. Where did it come from? You know, lay it out for us. Paint a picture, if you yeah, would. Yeah, sure. So, uh, this also, uh, like many things, this all, uh, the ideas around putting something, to get, putting something to get together came from IBM Research, actually started in Almaden Lab for Big Insights, and we're really starting to realize that. Hadoop was a very important capability and we needed to figure out how we were going to leverage it within IBM. And so there was some different work that was going on, some different work that was happening in file systems, some work that was happening in analytics. That's a very important part of, of, of the Big Insights product. And we started pulling each of these different pieces together and we realized that if we, if we put them together in the right combinations, we were going to have something very powerful, very unique within the marketplace. We, we really pride ourselves on starting with that Apache Hadoop stack 
and then building on top of it with uh, analytics, with tools uh, for both the business analysts, the business executive, the data scientist, uh, developers as well, a complete and total package. So we really brought different things together from different parts of IBM Research as well as things that we've created as well. So add some more, more color to that. So if I'm, if I'm buying Big Insights, what am I getting? So with Big Insights, you, you get Apache Hadoop, much like uh, many other people who are doing uh, uh, Hadoop distributions or offerings, but you also get uh, uh, a, a whole set of analytics capabilities. Uh, one example of that is, is our advanced text analytics. Really powerful capability. This is something where you can analyze textual information, whether it be from Twitter, Facebook, whatever other uh, type of source, or your enterprise data. Because in enterprise data, you have a number of things that are unstructured mm -hmm. as well. And you can pull entities out of that data, you can uh, you can find sentiment in, in, in this uh, types of, type of textual data as well. And this is not only for English, but also multiple other different types of languages. So that's just one example of one of the analytic capabilities. We also have some workload optimizations. So. Uh, there's things that we do in terms of our scheduling, things that we do in terms of our uh, packing different uh, types of workloads together to really improve the performance. In many cases, we can get 30% uh, better, uh, better performance than the, the base schedulers that are, that are built into Hadoop today. Going on up the stack, we have uh, developer tools, a uh, mm -hmm. bridge set of developer tools in Eclipse for not only the Apache uh, uh, open source uh, languages, so PIG and, and Hive and all those sorts of things, but also uh, for IBM's uh, scripting language Jackal that we've created as well, and also for the, all the analytics capabilities. On up the stack, kind of the most important, the face of Big Insights is our web console where data scientists can interact with data in a very familiar uh, spreadsheet oriented kind of way. Mm -hmm. uh, so the capability is called Big Sheets, mm -hmm. allows you to look at your data. And, and one of the key things there is that, you know, of course, with big data, you can't bring all your data into a spreadsheet, operate on it, and push it out. So instead, what we do is we can pull samples of the data, do some transformations. When we're happy with those transformations, uh, push that back down into the infrastructure run and, 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 and get, get our results that way. So Big Sheets, also our application framework, being able to take applications that we've built and also that, that, that our customers build and have them executable by really people who don't understand technology very well but just know that they want to accomplish a particular task. So it's a whole set of things uh, that we provide. It's a, it's a modular set of components that I can en en engage with, I can I, I can uh, uh, utilize other tools if I want. Is that true, or I... so it's it's one complete package. Okay, so but it's a full stack. It's a full stack. Okay, great. So yeah. I drop it in, and, and yeah. that's my environment. That's your environment. Okay, and and um, do you have a community edition? Yes, we have uh, Big Insights Basic edition, and we also have Big Insights Enterprise. Big Insights Basic is effectively. Uh, IBM's um, uh, version, or our, our, our distribution of Apache Hadoop, it's the same as, as you can get directly from open source, just with uh, our, our blue washing that we, uh, what we call blue washing, our, our uh, uh, following all of our legal processes and things like that, uh, of the uh, uh, Apache Hadoop components. Um, uh, and then a few other things to make it easy to install and, and administer. And so the same like technology. It. Same technology. It's just blue washed. That's right. Meaning it's blessed by IBM. That's and has right. All the, That's right. So it means you, you stand behind it. Yeah, and exactly. It fits into your corporate edicts and exactly. everything else. Okay, so it's the Hadoop, which is open source. The analytics, now the text analytics is, is, is what? Something that's specific to Big insights, or is that some other technology yeah, that you've dropped so, in? Yeah, so or? the cool thing about this is that one of our strategies is to take these analytics that we've been creating for uh, platforms like our, our, our Big Insights platform, but also make them available on other platforms as well. So that exact same advanced text analytics capability that runs in Big Insights also runs in streams. This makes it extremely powerful because you can think about doing some deep analysis on all the data that you've got stored in your Hadoop environment, coming up with, with the, the type of analysis you want to do from a text perspective, but then push that back up into streams for doing real-time analysis on, on data in motion. And so this is overall where we're headed, uh, making sure that the same analytics that we have, if they're appropriate in a streaming environment, work there, if they're appropriate in Hadoop, work there, and being able to share those same capabilities across. Really useful. What's the value proposition of Big, big Insights? Is it, is it the sim simplicity, the integrated yeah. stack, is that right? 
it's, it's a combination of them. It's really the simplicity, it's the fact that we have an integrated stack and all the components work together. Most importantly, the fact that it's integrated into the rest of what we call our big data platform with all the other products, that in deep integration is very important. And, uh, and, and then, you know, these advanced capabilities uh, that, 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 that don't really exist elsewhere. So a lot of uh, organizations, uh, when they talk about Hadoop, say, okay, well, virtually everybody, Jeff, says we're going to make Hadoop more robust, we're going to make it yeah. enterprise ready, um, and it's so, a legitimate conversation to have. I mean, that's that's. It's a, it's a legitimate conversation yeah, to have because there's some some problems there. How are you attacking that problem? Right. So so I, I mentioned some of the things like the workload optimization. That's right. one piece of that, and of course the integration into the enterprise and all of our, both IBM's components as well as uh, other partners and vin, uh, other partners and other mm -hmm. vendors as well. Um, that's that's a key part of that enterprise uh, ready aspect of it, but. The other things that we're doing is, uh, for example, we're uh, really focusing on security, uh, making sure that uh, we can provide the kind of security that our customers are expecting on top of the Hadoop framework, uh, and many other things that we're working on as well. So but workload optimization sounds like tuning to me, like automated tuning. Is yeah. that, is, am I inferring that correctly? Or? Well, it's, uh, there, there are some other things that we're doing as well where we're, we're taking uh, some scheduler technology and we're sort of overlaying that on top of the base uh, Apache Hadoop scheduler. So we have uh, something that in research was, was, was called Flex, uh, which sort of lays down over and replaces the, the fair scheduler. Uh, now we, I think we call it our advanced scheduling capability. And so it's, it's really just taking some of, the, some of the things that we've learned in other systems over time, uh, other experimentation that we've done in research and so forth, and applying that now to the, to the infrastructure to, to, and providing better, better overall performance. Well, how about things like uh, you know, uh, uh, data protection, data management, recovery, yeah. is, is that part of the objective or is that really not fundamental to the system? Um, so all those things we're, we're, we're working on and including uh, uh, capabilities for all those things. So it's a journey, so it's, it's not all there today, yep. you know, it's, it's, uh, it's part of the roadmap. That's right. So you mentioned security, I'd love to talk about that a little bit. What are some of the security concerns you're hearing from customers? And yeah. How are you approaching that? We've seen uh, some activity in that, uh, that market, We've seen a startup called uh, Squirrel, which kind of came out of the NSA, they're focusing on cell level security mm -hmm. and, in their data, in their NoSQL database uh, that works kind of in the Hadoop stack. But what are you finding in terms of the major security concerns around Hadoop and Big Insights? It, is it different than the, the concert, security concerns you're hearing around you know, Natiza and more traditional databases? Mm -hmm. Or, or is it, uh, does it have any unique characteristics? Excuse me, I think the concerns are really the same. It's just that maturity of the technology is, is something that's got to, got to evolve over time. So one of the things that excuse me, people are always worried about is the number of ports that you have to open up uh, to access all the different components. And so one of the strategies we've taken is that we sort of have a gateway into our clusters through our, through our web console, REST interfaces through our web console, and that's the way that you, you get into the cluster to do the computation that you want to do. So if you have an application, for example, you deploy it in through our web console, and then once it's approved for use by the administrator, then you can actually, uh, your users can run that directly from the web console itself. So one of the strategies is just trying to sort of surround, and, and, and you can think of it as a, as a walled off garden that we're trying to protect, protect in a way. Another concern is definitely around the auditing uh, uh, and, and understanding what users are touching which data. And so that's something that we're, uh, we worked with our Guardian capability to make sure that we can actually take that uh, information uh, as it's being generated from logs and things like that and push it up to our, our Guardian tools so you can understand what's happening within the, within the cluster. So the big insights, I'm, um, I'm, I'm sorry we're spending so much time on it, but it's, yeah. but it's interesting to, to me and I think our audience. Can you talk about your database strategy with regard to, to big insights? How do, where does the database fit? In all this? Yeah, so there's a couple different things I can say about it. Already today we have very deep integration, two-way integration with all of our major database capabilities. So pushing data into DB2 and, and pulling it out of DB2, pushing it into Natiza, pulling it out of Natiza, all this using high-speed parallel readers and writers, um, and so that's one of the things we've done. The other thing we've done that's related to the database, database technology is uh, with our Cognos capability, we, have the, uh, we can now take Cognos and access data that's in our Big Insights cluster through uh, a Hive connector that we've got. Um, over time, we're working much more towards integrating these things, uh, these uh, components very deeply. So for example, being able to issue 
queries from your database and being able to have those pushed down into a Hadoop environment and, and vice versa. So, so if I wanted to use HBase with, um, with Big Insights, I, I can do that, obviously. Oh, of course, right? yes. And, and, uh, and so, obviously it's a big movement, we're going to hear a lot about this uh, tomorrow or the next day at Strata, is to bring together SQL and yeah. NoSQL. So what's your angle on that? So that's something that we're, we're very, actively, uh, very actively working on, is the ability to have rich SQL interfaces uh, over the top of, of our Big Insights environment. So, so I mean, long term, so we hear a lot about you know, the connector strategy right yep. now. You know, it's, we've got, I've got uh, company, enterprises doing a lot of the hard, uh, deep analytics in Hadoop, or yep. crunching the numbers, and then kind of hanging a, a, a database off the side and kind of moving data in there. And long term, do you think that's a, a, a long term strategy, or do you think we need to move to a, a more comprehensive platform that kind of integrates these capabilities into one one common platform. It sounds like the latter. I don't want to put words in your mouth. But yeah, no. It's we definitely see we we see it all uh, all converging and coming together. They have to all work work together in a complete picture. So architecturally, what does that mean? How, how do you go about? It? What do we have to do to get there? And what's it going to look like when we when we do arrive? So I think I, I think um, uh, I, I think that ultimately what you're going to what you're going to see is the ability to execute standard SQL queries on top of a database, and you'll see. Uh, you, you won't even know that it's happened, but some of the, some aspects of that will go off and be executed inside the Hadoop environment. Mm -hmm. You'll see uh, extensions where sort of uh, overflow data, you can think of it as if you want to make it, uh, a, instead of pushing data into a long-term long -term archiving, you might want to push it into a, something that we're calling a queryable archive, still making it accessible, but maybe not as accessible as it would have been if it was inside your database, but not as inaccessible as if it's been moved off to, you know, long-term storage or something like that. So, it, 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 it's going to become a complete seamless picture is where, where we think it's headed. What kinds of things are really exciting you now? Um, what's really floating your boat? Yeah, so I think that um, really the maturity that we've hit with all these products, uh, Big Insights uh, 2.0, Streams 3.0, uh, the ease of use that we've we've reached at this point uh, is is very exciting to me, and I think also what I'm starting to see with uh, many of our different uh, customer use cases. Uh, earlier in the conference, as an example, just one that was just extremely exciting. Uh, Conoco Phillips talked about how they're tracking icebergs in the Arctic and trying to understand uh, where icebergs are relative to the oil production platforms, and if they needed to. to move an oil production platform or if they needed to maybe break up the ice. And all this is being done uh, using satellite data in real time. Just a really exciting use case. And there's many more use cases like that with other customers that, that are just, it's just amazing what people are trying to do now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, so, good. Just want to return, uh, sorry to return to the architectural question, but you know, we've heard a lot about the pure systems uh, uh -huh. at the show and the pure data and some of the interesting things uh, that are going on there. How does the entire big data platform as the, uh, the book mm -hmm. that we've got here, we had on some of the authors earlier, how, does, how do they all integrate in a way that doesn't create more silo, mm -hmm. data silos? The, an issue we've been dealing with in the data management field for years. Um, how, how do you, uh, how does the uh, big insights in the streams portfolio play with pure data portfolio and the pure, mm -hmm. the pure systems portfolio in a, in a way that doesn't create more silos? Right, so, so as I mentioned earlier, we do have uh, rich and deep and fast integration points between all the different mm -hmm. components within it. And the other thing is, is that we sort of have laid out patterns and, and some of those are actually discussed in the book, laid out patterns of how data would flow through your enterprise. Maybe it comes in through the streaming system, you get your insights as, uh, as the data's flowing in. Then data, whatever data is relevant might flow into Hadoop. Then maybe you'll do some deep analytics, maybe you'll find some data elements that are really important, they need to maybe go on to your database. So it's, we're, we're trying to describe an architectural pattern at, here and, and, and more broadly that shows how the data would flow through your enterprise, how you actually can leverage each of the different environments uh, for the applications that you've got uh, at the right place, accessing data and interacting with data at the right place at the right time. Cool. 
All right, great. Well, uh, Jim Giles, thanks so much for coming on. And I, I mentioned that we've had some of the authors on, and Jim, in fact, is one of the authors That's of right. the book. I think we've had half the authors on so far. We've got to we, yeah, see yeah. if we can get the other three <laughs> in, the, in, the next, uh, in the next hour or yeah, two. Yeah, Jim, but, that was uh, great. Really appreciate you coming on. Yeah. Uh, this is theCUBE, siliconangle.tv's continuous coverage of IO, uh, uh, IBM IOD. We'll be right back with some great guests coming on this afternoon. We're going all day, we're going all week. <laughs> this is big data week. Keep it right there, we're right back.